What's up, witches? I'm Casey. Welcome to Bewitching Beauty. So before we jump into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. It takes two whole seconds to click that like button, and it does help other people to see my channel. So don't forget to do that before we jump into it. Today, I am going to be doing my first impression and try on of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Now, I have never used Makeup Geek products before, so I'm very excited to try these for the first time. This is the look I ended up coming up with, and I do really like it, especially with the new hair. What do you think? What do you think? Sidebar, this is not what I meant to do, but hey, my husband likes it, so it'll grow on me. It's fine. Okay, let's carry on before I accidentally throw this across the room. <laughs> you know I will. I went ahead and made a custom palette on their website. So it comes in this magnetic sort of Z palette style. And in the set that I purchased, you were able to customize the palette by choosing nine shadows. So this is the color scheme that I came up with. I'm gonna take a quick look at those. You can see that I have definitely put my fingers in them because I have totally completed this look using these shadows. So there is that. If you don't know anything about Makeup Geek, the owner, her name is Marlena, and she was one of the like, OG beauty YouTubers before beauty YouTuber was even a thing. So this is her brand and I, I think they rebranded like a year or so ago. I think I remember Raw Beauty Christy talking about it at some point, but I have never had a chance to try out their products. They were always a little too pricey for me. In this set you get four or five of the eyeshadows for free and the palette itself is free. So you end up spending about 40 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that today. Super excited to try out the shimmers and the mattes and all of it. And if I really like it, I think that also I really want to try some other products from Makeup Geek. So leave me a comment down below if you've tried Makeup Geek before and there's anything that you would suggest me trying. If you want to see how I got this look, stick around. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shadows that I picked out. Essentially, when you do the create your own pan with the nine eyeshadows, you get the nine. Three of them are marked down to zero. One of them is half price, and then you get the palette itself, which is magnetic. So you can take the shadows in and out of it pretty easily. You get the palette itself for free. So I want you guys to see some of these shadows up close. So for my nine eyeshadows, the first three at the top here are all shimmers. The first one is in the spotlight. The middle one is medieval. And this far purpley color is called mystical. On the second row, the first one is flamethrower. The middle one is called seize the day. And this dark purple is called dedicated. Then on the last row, there is dark roast, beach please, and vanilla bean. So that is the combo. Clearly I really leaned towards these sort of jewel tones. You can see purples and teals and kind of shimmery, coppery. And then at the bottom, I stuck with some cool toned neutrals. So I will be testing out these shadows. This is my first experience with Makeup Geek. I have not even swatched any of these. You will be seeing my first response to the Makeup Geek formula. Let's go ahead and prime the eyelid so that we can jump into it. I am going to be priming my eyelids today with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige and we'll be blending it out with a synthetic brush. To start, I am going to go into this bottom cool neutral shade that I picked for the palette. This one is called Beach Please. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my crease, sort of start us off with a transition shade. Thank you. 
honestly that really blended out beautifully even on a wet base so so far so good let's go ahead and duplicate that so now we have that transition shade in the crease all set down i intended to choose a cool tone neutral but this color is almost pulling like a lavender so just be aware of that in celebration of my new hair color i'm gonna go ahead and go into this center deep purple matte shade called dedicated i'm gonna go ahead and put that into the crease and i'm also gonna kind of bring it down making sort of like a v shape Okay, so I'm happy with that shape. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it on the other side. So I do want a little more depth in the crease because this purple is beautiful and blending very, very well, but it's not quite as dark as what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go into this darkest matte brown that I have right here, which is called Dark Roast. pretty happy with our eye shape. The next thing I want to do is jump into this shiny purple shade called Mystical. I'm going to go ahead and use a flat packing brush, get some of that shade on my brush, spray it down with some setting mist, and then apply it to all of the lid. I don't know. Most of the lid? We'll see. Okay, so while that eyeshadow is still slightly damp, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the same shadow on my finger and just pat it on there to set it. I didn't realize this was gonna become so monochromatic, but I really love that mystical shade. It's like a deep eggplant color, but when you wet it, it sort of foils to like a pinky fuchsia kind of tone. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that on the other side. Okay, so now I have that shadow placed on both sides. I'm gonna go in with a small blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and sort of blend out some of this inner area on my eyelid. I think I wanna add like a lighter shadow just towards the inner corner of my eyelid. I think I'm gonna apply in the spotlight. We'll see. I think I'm gonna take another small packing brush and I am going to take some of this light shimmer shade in the spotlight on a dry brush and just apply some of that to my inner corner area. Okay, I think I really like that. It added a nice bright pop 
to the center. The only thing is I want to make sure that it's blended cleanly from inside to outside. So I'm going to go back with my previous purple brush and just sort of blend that edge a little bit. I did go ahead and take that inner color in the spotlight up pretty high. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the bottom lash line, which I am very torn because I could really do something very neutral on the bottom, very purple on the bottom, very really anything on the bottom because it's fucking makeup and you can do whatever the fuck you want to go, go forth, do whatever you want to. I don't know what I want to do though. So I don't know. Coffee will help me. It didn't help. I'm going to go and take a small, not fluffy, but like a little baby blending brush into that dark roast color and run that along my bottom lash line. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. I need some liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop BFF gel liner in the shade Get Paid for my bottom waterline. And I'm gonna use the NYX Black Cool slide on glide on liner for my top waterline. Okay, so next I am going to jump off camera, do some lashes and liner, and I will be right back. We are back and I have lashes on by Moxie Lashes. These are in the style Batty. I added some super fan mascara by Smashbox to the bottom. And now we are ready for the face stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start with blush. I am going to use my, I know, shocking Blush in Paradise palette, this first coolest shade. We're gonna go on to <laughs> the best part of the day. Today I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter with Amorizi, and there's only one shade, so really narrows it down. This one kind of has a gold tone and I haven't used it in a little while. So I'm excited to just kind of like add like a little bit of gold to this look. Let's see, I want to add an inner corner highlight. But I don't want to use the same shade that I have on the inner lid. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. And this is in shade Pearl. And now that we have blush and highlighter and inner corner done, we can move on to the lip. Which I kind of think this is really dramatic. So maybe a nude lip. This is... Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Daddy. Okay, I really like that. Especially because this lipstick has kind of a cool more blue undertone to it so i think that really works with the eye look that we have going on so i think last but not least we will do some setting spray and i think we're pretty much done here okay so this is the finished look 
using my custom palette from Makeup Geek. I think the formula of the Makeup Geek shadows are stunning. The shimmers, they foil so nicely when they're wet. The mattes blend out beautifully and for example with that deep purple matte color you don't just place it and it's insanely pigmented you sort of have to build it a little bit which honestly i prefer with a really deep shade because of the fact that if you place it and it sticks and you can't move it at all that's almost worse than having a shade that's just not pigmented enough so i really enjoyed the dark mattes i enjoyed the shimmers they're beautiful i'm excited to use the other shades that i purchased and see what other kind of combination i can come up with this was really fun i really like the purples and the way that all of these colors really work together so overall my first impression of makeup geek shadows was fantastic and I think it's also a really great deal to be able to try out nine of their eyeshadows and get a free magnetic palette to house them in. So in case you are interested in picking up some Makeup Geek shadows, I would suggest taking advantage of the deal they've got going on their website right now. With shipping and tax, it ended up costing me just over $40 for that palette. Honestly, I think it's a really great deal, especially because their shadows are normally about $7 a piece. So if you do the math, it's really a great deal. Essentially, this is the look. Hope you guys like it. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know, are you a Makeup Geek fan? What's your favorite eyeshadow? Because maybe I'll add a few more to my collection in case you guys have tried some and you can suggest them to me so I can kind of dip my toes more into Makeup Geek products. I know they also have really great eyeliners, I think. So you let me know. Have you tested it? What do you like? Give me a heads up on what I should try. See you next time, witches.